You are not supposed to suffer. You are not supposed to be in those lower energies. Do not accept that. When you hear that you can still manifest in negative energies, it's very true. And I can still feel like shit and I can still feel like crap and still manifest. That is all very true. But do not take on that belief system because there is an easier way. You are manifesting consciously and asking for these things because you want to feel better in having them. You think these things are going to make you feel better. And I'm not saying they're not because they are a part of why you're here, but you don't have to feel crappy still, okay? Listen, there is a higher intelligence, which is you, your higher self. Really understand that when you're feeling those lower energies, that is your higher self connecting with you. And the more you can settle down, you can settle into that, those days, those lower energy days, and just chill with yourself on those days, you are going to, to you are going to start getting clearer with and understanding that this higher intelligence is guiding you to your best life, to these manifestations, and trying to make you understand and see that you can feel good and feeling good is what's really going to get clarity in your life and help you understand why you're here. You picked up a lot of these belief systems from your society, from your environment. And one of them is feeling like shit. One of them is thinking that you're going to mess up. One of them is thinking that you can mess this up. You can't mess this up. You can never mess this up. You are forever being guided by a higher intelligence. No one outside of you in, in your world, I don't care who you're listening to, anything that is telling you that you can't or this isn't right, they're wrong. They don't know what's best for you, okay? Only you know what's best for you. All the answers lie within and with you and your higher self, okay? Your higher self is your guidance system. And when you're feeling lower energies, that is a time for you to start connecting. That is a time for you to understand your intuition and your higher self and what it's really here for, your emotions. It's all the same thing, okay? So practice on those days when you're in those heavier energies. Practice being comfortable with them because I'm telling you, they are guidance. I know they, they, they feel heavy and it usually is in regards to something maybe you're manifesting and you're like, what am I doing wrong? Or you could just say, why do I feel sad? Or why is this affecting me? Something outside of you is affecting you. But when you can get still on those days and connect to that loving energy, I promise you it's a level up. You are going to get answers to your questions. If you can just get really quiet with yourself, practice that. This is why I talk about the formula, meditation and breath work, which is going to help you really learn how to be still in your energy. And you're going to start communicating with this energy. You're going to start and you're not, it's not, it's not, (laughs) I don't have someone speaking to me like, okay, um, I need, I have a question on this and okay, here's the answer. No, it's not like an actual voice. And this took practice for me and I'm, I'm still working on strengthening this. It's just you getting very still and you saying, I want to understand this. I want to understand this. And the more still you get, the, the, you'll get the answers in the beginning. The answers might come through a person. They might come through a TikTok video, but over time, they're going to come from your higher self in that moment. You're going to get the answers. You're going to be more clear on your journey and why you're here. You're going to be connecting more to your best timeline, to to your best self. And the best part about this, guys, is that when you do this, you're changing yourself. You're coming from love, okay? And you are changing others around you. Others are, are reflecting back different to you because you're really learning how to be a master of your energy and your emotions and you don't let things affect you and you're but you're always coming from love though. So I don't want to go too deep. I just want people to understand that connecting to this energy, why I talk about the formula so much and your higher self and intuition and emotions and all those things always come out of my mouth because I'm telling you guys that this is the answer. The answer is within you. The answer is you connecting to your higher self and chatting and forming a relationship with that loving energy, which is you at your core. But this is pure, positive, loving energy. It's higher intelligence, okay? And the more you can practice this and get quiet throughout your day and get still, and it doesn't matter where you... Listen, they are going to put you where you need to be. You have to trust this process. I can't tell you how quick my life changed, and I didn't even trust it in the beginning. 
I was doing the whole thought repetition over and over again, which affirmations again are amazing. I love my affirmations. I love visualizing, but when you connect, can connect to this higher energy, you're going to get the affirmations that are right for you when you're ready for them. And then you're going to start making your own affirmations that are directed right towards you, helping you manifest what you want. Okay. So just really start quieting your mind practice that quieting of the mind that stillness connecting to your higher self and do it throughout your day you can do it while you're at a job you can do it in the morning before you go to job you can do it on i used to take like a whole sunday and that whole sunday was me meditating right this was going back two years ago i've come so far on my journey and you're going to be put in the places you need to be to help you really understand this so don't worry you're taken care of at all times i promise you So trust this, trust this process, trust that you are being led to your best life and trust that you are not supposed to suffer. You're really supposed to live an amazing life while you're here. You're supposed to live your best life. And even though it took me, you know, two years, but I know so much more now that I can help others get there quicker by trusting this higher energy, this loving energy. And you can connect with this so much quicker because I now have the formula and I can help you guys. I can help you guys understand that when you're feeling lower energies around anything, you don't even have to know exactly why, that it's a time for you to get quiet. It's a time for you to get still. Even if you cannot, don't even, you don't even have to ask the questions. Like I can ask the questions now in a very calm way, like I can say, okay, I need clarity on this and I'll get the answer because I've practiced the stillness. In the beginning, you don't have to ask any questions. Just practice knowing that that this is a loving energy and all you need to do is get quiet and that you'll be guided to the next step. Just trust the next step in the beginning. Don't try, just say, I need help to get to the next step. Start by saying that in the beginning. Build this belief system, build this relationship with your higher self in the beginning by saying just help me get through this lower energy can you just help me get through this and just keep staying very still just focus on your breathing this is this is you know this is something that really helped me it was focusing on my breath I would start counting my breath to get really calm and you know saying like all right you know just get me through this day just get me through this day and just stay cool and calm and don't get lost in it because you're you are truly loved you are truly being guided so The more you can stay still, the quicker you will have a level up, the quicker you will get clues to the next best thing. So don't drop too low. Don't let it take you down. Try to stay ahead of it. So anytime you feel any negative energy, just even just a tad, you could get still, get quiet, listen to your breathing, focus on your breathing and just say, I need your guidance right now. Can I have your guidance right now to get me to the next thing? And just get quiet. And I promise you, I promise you, you will be led to the next thing. And this will get easier and easier. It'll get quicker and quicker. And this is where you will start manifesting so much easier. Because your job, your only job while you're into your manifesting and how you really connect is by you feeling good. That's how you really connect with this energy. That's how you get into this momentum and this flow and things start flying into your life. Like you're going to be amazed because it's your path. So it's very natural and effortless for you. This journey should never feel like effort. Always remember that. This, there should be no effort on your journey. Your path is easy and effortless. Always remember that. There should be no struggle. So keep that in mind. Lower energy is struggle. So that's why we get still and we focus on our breathing and we say, please guide me to the next best step, okay? So just practice this. Practice this more often. This is really going to be helpful for you on your journey. Get comfortable with this, you know, this 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 energy of love, this higher energy, which is, again, it's you. It's, it's your guidance system. 